In this last set of videos, uh, we are going to talk about continuous time Markov chains. Uh, we are going to first study their nature, how we define certain probabilities and distributions. And then we will define the concept of infinitesimal generator matrix and how we can use it um, to obtain transient and steady state distributions for a continuous time Markov chain. And we will derive holding time distributions. And finally, we will talk about the embedded Markov chain, which in fact uh, describes the relationship between discrete time Markov chains and continuous time Markov chains. Okay, uh, previously we had studied discrete time Markov chains. And in general, Markov processes are processes which possess the Markov property. So at this point, it would be good to recall the Markov property. And let's uh, assume X of T is a continuous term Markov chain, and therefore it satisfies the Markov property, which can be stated in this way. Um, you have an observation at time T0, and you might have some other observations before T0, Okay, x of t prime equals i prime for any t prime that is earlier than t0. And based on these observations, you would like to uh, write the probability of uh, the Markov chain taking the state j okay, at time t0 plus t, sometime later than t0. Okay, so if a process is Markov, then this conditional probability should be equal to uh, this event conditioned on only the latest observation x of t0 equals i and this we we call similar to what we have done with discrete time markov chains we call the transition probability from state i to state j but this time around of course we are not talking about one step, two step, and step transitions. We are talking about transition within time t because now we have continuous time. We are talking about continuous time Markov chains. So the time is continuous. Therefore, transition probability as defined here is with respect to a continuous time, okay? And based on these, we define the transition probability matrix within time t. Um, this is similar to uh, the n-step transition probability in discrete time Markov chains, but of course it is now within time t, okay, continuous time t. It's a matrix, of course, it's a square matrix, and this matrix has all probabilities of transition within time t from all states i to all states j. And we also define the distribution of states uh, at time t, okay? So the Markov chain x of t taking the state at, uh, taking the state i at time t, uh, this is defined as pi sub i of t. And when we compose these as a row vector, we call this the state distribution. And of course, uh, similar to what we have done in discrete time Markov chains, we can write using the law of total probability, the relationship between the distribution at time t plus tau with the distribution at time t in this manner. The Markov chain can be in any state at time t. So if we condition this, this probability, on the state at time t, you can write this as a sum uh, of this distribution multiplied by these transition probabilities within time tau. So if you generalize this to a matrix notation, you have the distribution at time t plus tau equals the distribution at time t times the transition probability matrix within tau. Okay, so you have distribution at time t, and this is the transition probability matrix 
within time tau so tau time passes over t you arrive at time t plus tau and this product gives you the distribution at time t plus tau okay so based on this equation we can again write chapman kolmogorov equations as we did in discrete time case here um, we are just going to apply uh, instead of t plus tau here i'm writing t plus tau plus u but the general idea is the same so i'm just applying this equation that we have derived just now to the distribution at time t plus tau plus u so i can write this as the distribution at time tau and from tau to this time i also have uh, t plus u delay so that reflects here the transition probability matrix within time t plus u but alternatively you can also write the same distribution as the distribution at tau plus u times transition probability matrix within time t as long as the sum adds up to t plus tau plus u and of course you can write this this distribution as pi of tau which is the distribution at time tau and the delay is u so you write that as the transition probability matrix within time u and you have uh, the transition uh, probability matrix within time t again you can alternatively write this as this distribution the distribution at time tau plus t times transition probability matrix within time u so at the end you still arrive at the same time t plus tau plus u but this is an alternative way to write the same thing so what we obtain from this equality is you see this the transition probability matrix within time u times transition probability matrix within time t equals um, transition probability matrix within time t times within time u so we see that for any t and any u um, these two matrices are uh, they are compatible so that uh, you can uh, write them in any order to obtain the transition probability matrix within time t plus u essentially that is the main result so this we name the chapman kolmogorov equations